Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, gift boxes, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and welcome back. I cannot believe we have made it to 3,000 subscribers, but I am so happy and I am so thankful for all of your continued support. In celebration, I am doing a little giveaway. The details are over on the community tab. If not, they will be there very, very soon, I promise. It's kind of a two-part giveaway. I will be collecting some questions for a Q&A video because I haven't done one for a little while, and then there will be another giveaway in that video as well. Today's video, though, is about a great monthly lifestyle box. It is called Hermine. This is $44.95 per month plus $5 in shipping, but if you use the code NOEL10 and the link that I leave for you in the description box below, you can save 10%. This box was kindly sent to me for review by the mother-daughter duo Pam and Trudy, so thank you again to the gals at Hermine. I really appreciate it, and I have really enjoyed seeing this box continue to grow and flourish. So inside, they always have a very nice product pamphlet, and they do such a nice job of really featuring and talking about the women-owned businesses that appear in this box. And they always give us a little spoiler about what the theme for the next month will be. But the theme for May is awakening. So that's kind of nice, very um, spring renewal in, in the, that theme. It does say that the June box, it's got a really cute a picture of a watermelon that has Hello Summer carved out in it. And it just says that the June Hermine box is going to be filled with items that help you to celebrate summer, which sounds good to me. I can't believe we're already almost all the way through spring. It seems like we were just waiting for spring to arrive and now we're already waiting for summer to arrive so inside they always do such a great job like I was saying about showing you all of the products and they do this really cool thing where they actually categorize everything so they have an awaken your senses section and then it tells you about what the items are in there so something sensory I'm sure looks like some aromatherapy we have a luxuriate section an embellished section so sometimes we get like some home decor or some accessories in there a relax session so probably some self-care stuff there's actually two pages of relax so that sounds good to me and finally a sleep section at the end to close it off so I'll tell you all about those items as we get into the box they don't do the retail values but I do feel like you're always getting your money's worth in this box and then there's always like a nice little like note card and this one says choose your happiness choose your well-being choose your passion choose yourself every time so a good little reminder and then on the back they did just give me a little handwritten note which you guys know I always appreciate says, hi Noel. thank you for taking the time to review our May box. We hope you enjoy these items to awaken your senses this season, Pam and Trudy. And then we've got our classic red tissue paper from Hermine. So they always have a fun uh, presentation. It's always wrapped so nicely, but then I always have to tear it apart, which is always a little bit of a bummer to me. I always feel bad because it looks so perfectly packed. And then inside, I'm already seeing a little like card from a vendor that has appeared in this box before, but they have beautiful items, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, let's see if I can find this first item that would be by this particular company. So it's a little bit different this time. It's not an actual um, jewelry piece, which is what we've gotten before from Hands uh, Producing Hope, but they are fair trade. It's handmade and they have a global impact. So this is just a little note card telling you a little bit more about this company, but I'll read from the pamphlet instead. So it says uh, the owner is Rebecca Gardner. It all started in 2010 when Rebecca lived in Costa Rica for six months and began to learn about the discrimination and hardships a native people called the Guayami face on a daily basis. There she met women who in the face of oppression and extreme poverty still had hopes and dreams for a brighter tomorrow. While these women had a passion for learning and creating, Rebecca realized they were in need of a market. And so so she has basically created that for them and the item that we got from hands producing hope I actually have to sort of like dig for it I thought it would be right there on the top is a room spray so I think this is it. it's all packaged up nicely it says spray this into your kitchen bedroom or bathroom for a fresh 
citrus aroma. Yay, you guys know I love fruity scents, especially citrus ones. Handcrafted by a group of resilient refugee women who now call Louisiana home. Your purchase of this linen spray provides dignified work, community, and hope. Yes, love that. Kind of reminds me of the mission of the Anchor of Hope box, which I also share here on the channel. So there was a little bit of spillage, but let me just go ahead and wipe that off. So it's also another good reason to, that they wrapped that all up in the bubble wrap so it didn't get on any of the other products in the box. But it is, it does feel like a glass bottle. So I'm glad it was all wrapped up nice. So it says key ingredients, eucalyptus, lemon, and grapefruit. That sounds like a fantastic combination. And the bottle is really pretty, so you can definitely have that like out on your bookshelf or your counter just to remind you to go ahead and give the room a little spritz. So I can smell it because there was, like I said, a little bit of spillage. I'm definitely getting the um, grapefruit in there, honestly. I'm like, that's what I'm really smelling. And a little bit of the eucalyptus. I'm not going to go ahead and spray it because I'm a little bit afraid of, of taking the cap off. But I, I just think it's really pretty. Like the bottle itself is really pretty. So that is a lovely item and I'm very happy with the fragrance that it has. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other items that I had to pull off the top. It looks like we got some tea and you guys know I have like this weird love-hate relationship with getting tea in subscription boxes just because it is a very popular thing to include in subscription boxes. There are some subscription boxes that are all about tea. Um, I love tea definitely but I tend to drink coffee every day more so than tea but I always love having different blends to try and now we're kind of getting into the iced tea months which is also really fun. So this is from Steep and Sip Tea with a Purpose and they also had a little note card in here but again I will read from the pamphlet. Um, they actually gave us a little um a little coupon code in there too so it says uh what does it say it says the owner is kiara mitchell it says health and wellness is so important more than ever and that's why co-founders kiara mitchell and trayvon williams uh created steep and sip organic loose leaf teas that provide health benefits and aid in relieving ailments they believe in reaping the health benefits of the natural herbs the good earth gave us while enjoying the wonderful flavors so we got some dreamers tea so it looks like two bags i'm just kind of wiping off some of the dust from the shred Oh, so this is nice. I was wondering why we got two bags and one of them seemed way fatter. So one actually has like little like steeping bags, the little sachets in here. And these actually look like they're reusable. Like they look like um, kind of like a, a linen. And then here is the actual tea in a little resealable bag. So um, let's see what it says. Drift into a good night's rest with our dreamer tea. It is packed with organic ingredients to help organic great ingredients to help you relax and slip into a deep sleep so you can awaken refreshed and renewed. The ingredients are red raspberry leaf, chamomile, cinnamon, and rose hips. And so then it just tells you how to steep your tea. Um, so I really appreciate that they gave us those little sachets. It doesn't sound like a tea that's necessarily going to be in like my comfort zone just because it has um, rose hips in it, which is not like my favorite flavor, but it is sort of the last on the list. So it might be all right. Um, it does have cinnamon. So it's going to have a little bit of like like warming properties in it but the red raspberry leaf and chamomile that does sound really nice so you never know it might just be like kind of at the front of my like big stock of teas that I have or because it is that nice little packet it always makes a great little insert into a little gift card I love having all these fun things that I can just add to my little packages that I make up for friends and family as well all right let's see what else we've got there was one other item that I did pull out and then we still have a bunch of stuff in this box I'm really impressed with their box up Date, that they are still managing to get so many items in here. We have got something from Moroccan Magic, which is a brand that I have gotten a few items from before in other boxes, and it is an awake sheet mask, and we always love a good sheet mask. So let's see. I think I saw this in here. I just have to flip to it. So let's see. It says Christina Miller is the founder of Moroccan Magic. Christina created Moroccan Magic Clean Beauty because she believes in taking everyday products and giving them an upgrade. She spent her career finding and developing magic, sourcing only the, the highest quality ingredients, formulating high performing clean beauty products that everyone can afford. It says get ready to love mornings. This awake sheet mask uses hydrating cold pressed argan oil, plumping hyaluronic acid, high performing rooibos plant extract and sweet rose extract to give your skin the perfect dewy complexion while delivering anti-aging benefits. That sounds awesome and I love the idea of doing your sheet mask in the morning to sort of like wake you up and brighten you up 
So I will, this is actually probably a good idea because you know there's always that moment when you put the sheet mask on. I know some people will actually warm theirs up, which seems really smart. Um, but there's that moment where you're like, oh, this is gonna be cold, and then you slap it on, and then you're fine. But like those first few seconds, like it's kind of like jumping into a, like a cold pond where it does really really wake you up and kind of get you going for the day. So it's actually a really good idea. Um, I'm gonna go. There's now, you guys. I'll show you. There's like a bunch of little like individually wrapped things kind of nestled in here. So I always kind of like that. It's kind of it adds to the experience of opening up your box but there is one that's not and this is by Ives and Bees and this is a lavender and purple Brazilian clay soap so very very nice I think we actually got something from this company in the last box something a little bit different so you guys gotta love a handmade soap always so pretty you can actually see some like lavender embedded in there and I love the scent of lavender, that's awesome. So let's see if I can find this in here. I'm sure I can to tell you a little bit more about it. So this is in the relax section, of course. It says, um, again, this is Vanessa and Ivy are the owners. Vanessa and Ivy are sisters. It all started when Vanessa's oldest daughter got the family into handmade natural soaps. They noticed the difference and loved the many benefits of the natural ingredients in their soap, so they started using natural soaps on a regular basis. But they soon found out that it can be very expensive to buy handmade natural soaps regularly. So Vanessa decided to do lots of research and tried making soaps herself at home. So I always love hearing the stories about how people got started and usually it's like out of necessity or just curiosity but whatever it is I love the entrepreneurial ship that goes into it and of course I love the products that come out of it so it says along with creating purple color Brazilian clay also absorbs excess oil from the skin and improves skin elasticity it has anti-aging properties as it ensures healthy skin cells by preventing the skin from absorbing environmental contaminants and impurities Brazilian clay also adds a wonderful silky lather to soaps hmm I have never uh, had a soap I don't think that had Brazilian clay in it so I'm all about trying that. I like a good lather with my soaps for sure. I like things that like kind of foam and really like get frothy. I don't know why it just feels like I'm doing more even though I'm sure soaps that don't foam are just as just as good. All right, so this is something that I was like on the inside page and I think it is actually uh, made by the gals at Her Mine and I'm really excited about it and it came in some bubble wrap as well. They have been making their own candles for a lot of the boxes and they have been fantastic since. Um, this is the first one I think though that is not in your basic tin. It looks like they have found a different vessel for the candle and it's really, really pretty. So I'm very, very excited because you guys know I love a candle and I love a pretty candle. So and then inside of the bubble wrap it came in a little um little organza bag too which is of course tied in like a knot i think it was a bow but now it's a knot so this is a grapefruit mango steen candle you guys so all the things i love fruity citrus um an exotic and beautiful blend of a ripe tangy grapefruit and mango steen a tropical fruit that is citrusy and sweet with a hint of peach yes that sounds so good this fragrance is infused with natural essential oils including orange so it says awaken your senses that's the name of the candle fragrance um and it tells you a little bit more oh it's hand poured by ives and bees but maybe the gals at uh, at uh, Hermine got to, to have some input because it does actually have them on the label. So it's kind of a little collab. But look how pretty this vessel is, you guys. This gold. Of course, you guys know I love that. It's like a really big tea light, kind of like silvery on the inside. So once that candle starts to burn down, it is going to be so gorgeous because there is there's kind of like some speckles where that light is going to shine right through. And this is a great thing to save. And I think I could probably remove the sticker because you guys know I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, a little OCD when it comes to labels being slightly crooked so I might just adjust the label um, but there is a little note always from Pam and Trudy so I thought I would just uh, read that to you as well it says awaken your senses is a collaboration between Hermione and Ives and Bees Trudy had found and fallen in love with this mercury glass container I am in love with it also um, and had searched for just the right scent to marry the vessel's beauty to the feeling she wanted to evoke Vanessa from Ives and Bees suggested their grapefruit mangosteen and now we invite you to awaken your senses it is a great collaboration. You should do more of them. This scent is so nice and the vessel is so pretty. So I'm so far that I think that's my favorite item. All right, we have a couple more things. So one came in this little bag. 
oh I know what this is because I believe it also appeared in their special Mother's Day boxes that they did so it is a sleep mask now this is great because you guys we get a lot of sleep masks in different subscription boxes and I'm always saying that I pass them on because I don't like to have things like around my head and I also don't like to have things like pressing on my eyelids I like don't even like to use eye pillows one because I just don't like the sensation of it but also because I usually have eyelash extensions and you don't want to crush the eyelash extension um, so it says that this this one has a little bit more structure it almost kind of looks like a padded bra so there's actually more of like a cup that goes over your eyes so it's not like directly pressing on your eyelids so yay I'm so happy um, so this is what it looks like see what it kind of looks like a like a bikini top right and then it does have the elastic band that goes around your head but it is velcro so you can really adjust it and I love that because I can make it super duper loose you do have to be kind of careful having like um, the velcro on your hair because it can kind of get like stuck in there but I think you can probably adjust it to make it work just right so does it look does it look good you guys I don't look like a bug <laughs> so it says this beautiful sleep mask is specifically designed with the utmost comfort in mind the soft ultra light design blocks light fully and gently hugs the face without pressure using the adjustable velcro strap that connects the back of your head deep molded cups allow space between the eye and the mask so you can blink freely without pressure during sleep Yay! Finally, and then it does tell us the care instructor instructions in terms of hand washing cold, so you don't want to actually, you know, put it um, in the washing machine. So, but you probably don't have to wash it that often. It does say not to put it in the microwave, though. Just I know a lot of like eye pillows you can put in the microwave, but don't do that with this one because it might light on fire. So you you don't want to do that. But it is really cute. I actually like it. It's kind of got like a gray background and then these little like almost chrysanthemum patterns on it. So. This is a sleep mask I might actually give a try and I think that actually might work because every once in a while I'm like, you know what I need is a nap but I can't like make myself fall asleep and I feel like maybe that and a good like boring podcast might actually put me to sleep in the middle of the day when I have the time to nap which is rarely. And then we have one more, one more little guy and this is hefty and it also came in its own little bag. Let me see, it's got like, it's got another card in there, it's got like more like Foozles coming out of it. It's got so much. Oh, I know what this is. So I kind of saw it flipping through the pages. Oh, wow, this is a nice one. So everyone's is going to be a little bit different because it is this gorgeous chunk of amethyst. Now you guys know I don't necessarily assign any properties to crystals but I think they are beautiful. Amethyst is one of my favorites. I actually already have a chunk of amethyst that looks very similar to this but mine is this one's like this little skinny wedge. My other one I have is a little bit of a fatter triangle but I love that you can see all those striations there and like just look how these crystals like catch the light. What a really pretty thing to just have on your desk or on your bookshelf. Like I think that is stunning. So let's see what it says about this. I believe the company is Crystals and Conversations. It's a very catchy name because I remembered it from just seeing it for like half a second. So it is indeed. Um, the owner is Karen or Corinne. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. It says, my whole life I've loved crystals and rocks. This love for the earth and magic has brought me here. I create and share my wisdom and energy through crystals, creations, and conversations. So it says, it enhances intuition, spirituality, and meditation. It's extremely protective and it calms the mind and spirit so and then of course it has a little bit more information about amethyst and how it has to do with the uh, third eye uh, so that's, that's kind of you know, if you believe in the chakras or you want to learn more about it that's definitely something nice and I'm sure you could learn more on her actual website and of course they gave us that information in here as well but I just think it's really pretty and I love this like kind of unique uh, shape this little wedge that I got so let's just go over everything we got in this fantastic Hermine box I feel um, I feel awakened for sure and very excited about the summer theme so we got the grapefruit and mango steam candle in the beautiful gold vessel we got our awake revitalizing sheet mask which I will use like on when I have to maybe wake up early in the morning for something we got our gorgeous amethyst crystal our lovely awaken room spray which smells really good we got our dreamer uh, tea with the little sachets we got our lavender and purple Brazilian clay soap and finally we got that fun eye mask which is not gonna crush my eyelashes so I'm very happy about that love the candle love the room spray actually honestly I love everything but you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was in this box if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing